What's up, what's up, what's up, my babies? You already know who it is. It's your girl. Just meet me. I'm heading back from the gas station. I got hungry. I was hungry. What's nothing in there to eat? So, I don't know. I just got a little frozen chicken sandwich and I got chips. But it's really nice out today. Look at the sky, y'all. There's not too many clouds. I want to see. Not a damn cloud. Not a damn cloud in sight. Look at that. It's about 60 degrees today. So it feels nice. Yay. Um, oh my God, that feels so good, y'all. That breeze. I know it's probably super windy on your am, but it feels really nice. Anyway, excuse me. I have been productive today. I got up a video yesterday. A weekly vlog, vlog is up yesterday i got a beauty review up today i've done two shorts and a tiktok your girl is moving okay and i'm still working okay bring home the bacon baby and i'm still getting some video out so now <laughs> i've completely empty out my phone i think i better start recording some more so today is november 15th Okay. Uh, yeah. Damn day. Okay. Oh, it's like good, good in here. Whew. That wind took my breath away. That's I did a whole lot of walking. I did not. But that wind, it was just like trying to talk and walk against the wind. It just took my breath away. Anyway, um, supposedly the Dill guy is supposed to be coming to fix my computer today as he just showed up last week with unannounced. Announced, but unannounced, like no reply back from me in an email. I don't know what that's about. That's not your customer service. But last time he came around to so I wanted to make sure I got that trash. I was feeling terrible. I mean, um, remember I had thought out some fish where he never cooked it. That was bad, baby. Whew. I bet it smelled like street pussy. <laughs> I'm just playing. Let me get back to work, y'all. I'll talk to you later. What's up, what's up, what's up, my babies? You already know what it is. I'm talking really, really fast because it's like 8.30 and I have a procedure schedule at 9 10 i have this weird looking spot on my back so they're going to biopsy it to see what the fuck it is and they can stop itching but i i'm dressed i smell good my eyes are in but i have nothing on my face and i do have to do my hair so first we're gonna stop sweating because that's important so People are always saying, okay, what are you doing for everyday makeup, Mimi? Because you guys always see all my glam up looks and stuff like that. But when I'm in a rush, and I am, I do fast. Fast, fast, fast. So, I usually do my eyebrows first, but because I'm wearing bangs, I don't need to do my eyebrows today. But what I am going to do is put a little bit of foundation on. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because I'm sweating like a pig. Basically, on the bottom half of my face because, again, I'm wearing bangs. So, not really needed. Okay? And because it's so light, I do mix it with another freaking um foundation but i don't see it and i know what's in here but because i'm rushing it's hiding and that's not fair look and that's just not fair
is sitting on the top. Too much. Too much. Okay. And now I'm going to take my beauty blender. It's still a little damp, but actually I like it a little, a little bit more damp than it. Wet it up a little bit. And then we're going to clean this on up. Y'all, I'm sweating so bad. Can you see the sweat on? This is considered a hot flash. I have the windows open in my house. I have fans going. I'm having a hot flash. Which is not great when you have to do makeup. So, I'm just taking what's left on the Yuli Blender and kind of just smoothing out the edges. Do. Make sure it doesn't look past you because I'm sweaty. Try to use what I got to get what I want. Joe, I am really sweaty. We're going to go in with a little bit of, this is the Granada. And this is from Juvia's Place. I don't even know if she does these anymore. I've had this for a long time. Notice that it's more just like a shade up. It's not really trying to bright, bright, brighten my eyes. It's just really like almost the same color as the foundation. Just to take away some of the dark circles. But not like make it look unnatural. Okay. Bam. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with mascara. <laughs> Good catch, Mimi. And eyeliner. And the reason I do an eyeliner is to open up my eyes because it's early as shit. It's too early. It's too damn early for this shit. But I digress. Oh, it's in my purse. I know this side. Be right back. All right, got my eyeliner. Just going to do my waterline. And then I'm going to do a very thin line on the top of my eye. I'm not going to wing it. I know you see a wing, but I'm not going to wing it. And because this is not a very precise pencil, the line is way too thick so i'm gonna go back in with a q-tip and just clean it up really quick Move my damn contact. Okay, so that's it for that.
bam, bingo, bango, and then a little mascara. And I need another one. I promise I do. Somebody is in a hurry. So I was freaked out because I've never had a biopsy. It's a skin biopsy. But uh, I thought I had to go by myself. But my husband actually got off of work today. So he's on his way home now to take me. And it's a half day for the kids. So Nanny gets out at 11.30. So I'm going to be home by myself today. So that's awesome. So I'm just basically getting underneath the lashes. I don't really go on the top um, for like everyday look because that kind of gives it a more heavier look. So I'm not trying to be heavy. I'm just trying to open up these little sleepy ass eyeballs. All right, next time. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of bronzer. And I did bring my brushes, so I should probably use my brushes. So we're just gonna pick up a little bit. I've stopped sweating. Thank God. And again, not really focusing on that forehead that much. I am gonna go back up and kind of like blend a little bit more into it, but for the most part, we just lightly. And you see that part? Ooh, child. Too heavy. Too heavy. But thankfully. I have brought my brush cleaner and I can kind of take off the excess and blend it in. That just looks like a bruise. That's not going to work for me. That ain't gonna work for sis. I ain't over here bruised up. No man. We are going to put this a little bit more foundation right there. Shit happens when you're rushing. Shit happens. When you are rushing. And sweating. That's the thing. I am sweating. Again, I'm back sweating. Big sweating. Okay. Crisis averted. For now. I'm just trying to dab up the sweat again. It's like re-wetting my makeup, which isn't really a bad thing because I'm trying to blend it all together. But I'm sweating so bad, I don't know if it's going to work. Honestly, I don't know. Eyes are done. That's all I care about at this point. Actually, let's put a little bit of 
shadow on. I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush because I'm just gonna try to cover as much as my lid as I can. The Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm gonna use honey. Just because it's a little red for my eyelid. So I just wanna take some of that red out. Have like red lids, and this honey kind of neutrals it, neutralizes it a bit. Busy, um, all right. Lastly, we're gonna throw some blush on. I'm just gonna use this pink and a little bit of this red and stink that on a little bit y'all it's supposed to look like I have on no makeup so that's the whole point of it just to have a bare minimum amount of makeup and then I'm just going to set it off Kabuki brush, and I have my CoverGirl <clears throat> palette. I'm trying to clean this out because it, it can get a lot in my bathroom with me. So, okay. Done. All right. And I am patting it in because I am sweating again. So. Done. I got my power brow. Uh oh. Not an eye. I'm just gonna give these bad boys a brush. Cause but yeah, I never covered by my freaking um uh bangs. This is, I love this fucking tint. I know they don't have any more. The Cha Cha tint from Benefit. I don't remember the color that it's in, but it's like a really nice, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, coral. I think it's a coral color. I'm going to use, it's like a rosy lip liner. This is gonna turn my lips like a peachy color. This one you can kind of build it up if you want a deeper coral color. Now 
here's my trick. I go back with my eyeliner. And then I just kind of right on the outside. That's done. Face is done. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Now we can move on to this car. So, actually, let me go put this away and I'll be right back. All right. Face done. Let's work on this horror. Curl La La, which I'm not supposed to use because it's Raymond's, is really good even on hair that's not yours. that's all i need to use over it's still wet because i washed i washed it in the shower so it's still pretty damp and i'm just basically finger separating and putting the product on there and as i'm separating i'm just scrunching pulling separating scrunching because it's not like a ringlet curl, it's supposed to be like a loose, messy, light curl. Oh, this unbrush, y'all. Everything. Everything, this unbrush. For real. The key to this hair is brushing with the curl, which is crazy because I don't know how to put it in so that these curls go to the back. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm working on it, y'all. But for the most part, I like it. And we just want to get a little bit of height in here. It's kind of let it fall. Okay. Mm -hmm, just want to fall off the duff. And as it dries up, it the curls go up. So, like, I know I can't see a damn thing right now. Can't see a damn thing. But it will curl up. Okay. That's it. And let me see what time it is. 8 for the 8. So I just socks and shoes on and I'm ready to go. So wish me luck, guys. See you later. Need to stop going in on that purse. It's cute. It looks like a little poodle. Ew. A poodle? Yeah, a dead dog. Don't come for her, though. A dead dog poodle. <laughs> Please don't come for me. So anyway, let me set this down for one second. Don't be angry. I had to switch now. So we are at Target. And it looks like they have Target. They have all of their um, like holiday, New Year's, like Thanksgiving outfits out and stuff. Hold on, I'm talking to you. Um, and first of all, the first thing I said when we came in here because we came in here looking for a little outfit for Imani to wear tomorrow. But I was like, you know, Target's clothes usually are kind of old school. 
but they killing the game right now. Let me show you. Pictures and we can go. I really like this. Hey, Aaron. You can, you can help us with that. would be great, honey. Yeah, this is a little boy's aisle. The little boy. Wait, the you boy's aisle. What? The boy's aisle got the weird stuff. What stuff you gonna wear in the boy's aisle, too? It's cute. <sighs> oh my God. It's, they got some cute stuff that they don't even like, so they ain't gonna buy it anyway. These though. sweaters aren't terrible. Ew. <laughs> That's what they call ugly sweaters. Good morning, babies. It is literally 7 1 a.m. Um, just got out the shower and that's it. I just got the shower. Literally haven't got any coffee. Oh shoot, I just ordered my coffee. Hold on. Y'all, I think I need a new, um, actually I think the car is over here. I need a new screen protector. Mine looks like Grimless have been eating at it. It's ridiculous. And I think that's what's causing the glare because it's kind of lift off one of the cameras. So I don't like that. Anyway. I'm headed to Walmart and getting my coffee because today my husband's aunt, um, Nisi, please. She, dang, I, I, I started the car, but I don't think, yeah, Remy didn't have the, the frost and stuff on, so we gotta sit here for a second, dang it. All right, try it again. Alright. Alright. Oh, shoot. Do not be dropping y'all. Alright. 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 Anyway, like I was saying, Raymond drove the car last, so he didn't have the stuff cut on. But it's all good. He probably didn't plan on going nowhere. He didn't know I was going nowhere either. I told him, like, before we went to bed, I was going to head out to Walmart about 7 o'clock when it opens to see if I get in some um, shoes. Like, I got some boots. Oh, my God. Y'all, I didn't walk out into the fucking elements. And I don't have no moisturizer on my face. I literally wash my face. Dry my hands from the lotion on my body so I can put this on my face. But then my, it's like something going on with this contact. This is my butterfly fairy ones. I haven't worn these in a while, but they are so pretty. And I really wanted to wear like a green eyes. They're pretty. But this one, drops in my eyes. I don't know. I think maybe it's just tired. This eye was a little red last night. Um, I thought it was a little oddly red. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe I bumped it or scratched my eye or something. I just didn't know about it. So, that happens. Because I'd be fighting with this hair. Or it could be the fact that my hair poked me in my eye. I have And it's like, I, I don't want to cut it so that they're like up here. I don't want them them up there. It's so hard cutting bangs with curls, you know? So I think I'm just gonna have to just hold them and just do, 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 old school and hope that the curl just bounces back. Because that's a new one. All right, so where are we going today? So we were invited um, to a women's conference today at 12 to 3. Um, it's in Detroit. We have to leave the house about 10.30. She wants to get there about 11.30, which is not an hour away. But I understand there's parking, there's walking. And this is why I am going to um, Walmart to get some better shoes. So I got my black boots. They, my boots are beat up. They're my guest boots, and I've had them. And I, I, 
had them forever. sure Monday is going to be a shit show. Ideally, ideally, I want it to be a slow week. I worked last Thanksgiving. I can't remember if it was slow or not. I think it was. But last year was a different time. Different time. Anyway, I really need to get up out this bed. I have been having the most terrible sleeping experiences. I promise you I have. Go to bed, sleep a few hours, and then I spend between 4 and 6.30. That's when my alarm clock is set for. I'm tossing and turning. My stomach, my stomach started hurting. In the middle of the night, and it was weird because in my dream, my stomach was hurting. I was like, God, I just don't want to do this because my stomach hurts in my dream. 
Uh, what was I doing anyway? Probably remodeling something. Oh, always doing house renovations in my dream for houses that I don't own. Just the craziest thing in the world. Ain't he here? Um, now he just brought me a water because I had just got like super stomach cramps. The nausea and I just couldn't move. I just, I just became so dizzy. But I gotta get up. I know if I just drink a bit of coffee or tea. Oh, anyway, that's not what I came up here for. <clears throat> First of all, let's give a shout out to the end of the year because we're almost here. Yay, 2023. You have been a big, bad, and brutal bitch and i'm so glad that you are about done with your tirade on this planet thanks for showing up okay 2024 is on the z way we got about a month and a week so that's great um but this weekend was actually it was actually pretty good saturday we went to a women's conference with um, my husband's aunt. Um, we're very close in age, so we're like peers. Shout out to Nisi um, for inviting me and my daughter. And we went and we had a truly amazing and blessed time. Um, and I learned about intercessory prayer. And I thought I knew what it meant, but I did not. And now I do. And I'm super thankful for that. I mean, I could not be more thankful for that. And it's weird. If you don't know what it is, please do your research, look it up. But it's basically praying in um in behalf on behalf of somebody, like standing in their present to pray for them or you know, or a situation or whatever. And it was a couple of times where I did an accessory praying, but I didn't understand that's what it was. I didn't know what it meant. And um, one of the things we learned about is that waking up at these weird hours of the night should be for prayer. It's like God's tired trying to talk to you. This is the moment where you are, you know, get your, your listening ears on, you know. And, um, <laughs> And so the first day, I woke up at 4.45 on Sunday. And I said, oh, I'm supposed to be praying. I got to pray. Okay. And I did. It wasn't eloquent. It wasn't poetic. It was rough. <laughs> and I was like, Lord, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, but... You ain't getting me up to pray for somebody, so help them, Jesus, help them. <laughs> Y'all, I'm new. Give me some time. I'll work it out. And then, uh, 5.50, I woke up. So, I threw a little prayer out there, too. <clears throat> Today's the day. It's Monday. <sighs> I have got to get about to bed. It's probably after 7 now. So. Yeah. Good morning. I look pitiful. I'm not going to lie. I do. I look pitiful. I think I need to go get those clothes out of the dryer too. So this year we are not going... To my in-laws. Look, I had to clutch my pearls. We're not going to the in-laws for Thanksgiving. I'm going to cook this year. Not to say I haven't cooked before. I've cooked for 20 million years. Okay? 20 million years. But, where's my... Let me get my... But, I stop cooking Thanksgiving. And I think I talked about this on a, a video or something a while ago. I stopped cooking dinner once the boys, you know, they left. And oh, you guys need to be upset. Okay. 
So I stopped cooking once the boys left. Not me. Put, get it it's all set up just to sit out. Okay. So I stopped cooking once the boys moved out of the house, you know, because it was just me, Raymond, and Nani. And that's a lot of freaking food, you know. But, um, so we used to do uh, crab legs for Thanksgiving instead. We do a crab boil. So, hubby says that he wants to eat at home this year. So, I had to do something I haven't done for, I honestly can't remember the last time I cooked Thanksgiving. Like, I cooked Christmas dinner, but Thanksgiving, I probably haven't done Thanksgiving since my grandma died. Since, like, 2015, I think it was. It's been a minute. So anyway, this is how I prepare for Thanksgiving. Yes, I am old school pen and paper. Yes, you will always still find a notepad, a fresh, like this is, this one is, it's only this much used, okay? But I am a notepad person. I am a journaler at heart. I don't journal like I used to, but I have to write things down in order for my brain to process them, in order for my brain to organize what I am trying to accomplish. I have to physically write it down. I can think about it all day. I can even put it in my phone notes, which again, I do use my notepad in my phone too, but <clears throat> uh, for some reason, I write faster. So, what is on the menu? So far, we have... Fried corn, yams, mac and cheese, dressing, greens, and green beans. I am kind of think I want to do either deviled eggs or potato salad. And like something cold on the plate. What should we do? Should we do deviled eggs? I haven't done deviled eggs in a minute. Gassy, gassy, gassy. I think we'll do potato salad. All right, so this is basically my menu, and these are the uh, the grocery list that I need to get. So for I think it's pretty good since I just did potato salad. We'll do a bag of potatoes. We need some Miracle Whip because we are out and Dukes. Now, <clears throat> first of all, I do like mayo, okay? I have always liked mayo. I have liked Miracle Whip. I've always liked Miracle Whip. There are certain foods and certain occasions that call for certain things, right? My ratio to the perfect tuna salad, perfect potato salad, is two scoops of Miracle Whip to one scoop of Duke, or two scoops of Duke to one scoop of Miracle Whip. So it's like two parts to one part, um, either or. And it honestly depends on what you're making. So like if I'm doing my tuna like salad, like with the macaroni and the relish and things like that, I wanna have a little bit more sweetness to it, I'll do the two Miracle to the one Duke. If I'm doing my potato salad where I want it to be a little bit more savory with a little bit of sweet, I'll do my two Dukes to the one Miracle. So that's just my little tip or trick. I know a lot of people like my tuna uh, salad and my potato salad. So you're welcome. So I need Dukes mayo. We need some sweet. And I already have eggs on the list, and I already have onions. The other secret, if you want to know, the other secret to a really good potato salad or to a really good coleslaw is shallots. Instead of a yellow or a sweet onion, you want to use shallots. You'll thank me. You'll thank me. 
All right. <clears throat> so that is the list. That should be it. Oh, meat. We haven't decided on the meat yet. I'm still waiting on my husband to text me. I think I'm being, I think I'm being texted. Hold on one second. All right. Yeah, I got logged out. So I had to log back in, um, which is, this is my break time, but I forgot to switch my, um, oxes. Not that you give a damn, but that's what happened. Anyway, so where were we at? Oh, the meat. So we're either going to do a roast or I was thinking the fried chicken or fried fish. I just don't want to do turkey. Um, I have some smoked turkey that's going to be in the dressing. I have some smoked turkey that will probably be in the, um, will definitely be in the greens and in the green beans. So got turkey. I don't want a big old turkey. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe a nice size roast or um, some fried chicken. So it'll be more like a very uh, glamorized Sunday dinner because we won't have turkey in that way anyway, in the traditional form anyway. So that's that. Um, this today is Monty's last day of school. She actually has Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday out. I actually have to work tomorrow. Ray has to work tomorrow. We have Thursday off. He might have to work, but I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. But he, uh, I think he has to work Friday. <clears throat> maybe, maybe not. Anyway, that's the plan, Stan. Just doing what I do. Clothes are washed.